Hi students, so welcome back to the uh, next part for chapter 4 okay where in this one this uh, session i'm going to actually guide on simplifying the certs so previously you already learned how to change recurring decimals to fraction if you haven't i have the link down below and today's one i'm going to teach you how to simplify certs now simplifying certs you need to know two laws okay we have law one law two okay law one law two it looks like you know, we are studying for a lawyer. Okay. Um, first law, okay, is if you have cert x times y, you can separate it as cert x times cert y. Okay, separate. Now, if let's say you have cert x over y, I think you already know, you can write cert x divide cert y. Okay, so this is the law. The law is simple. Okay, it's not complicated. All you need to do is apply this. Alright, now. So now I'm going to give a few examples, okay, on simplifying the third, okay. So first, let's try this. Simplify third 50. Now, immediately what, need to, what needs to come to your mind is what factors can I use, okay. What number times what number, I will get 50. So, let's look at... Okay, 2 times 25. We will get 50, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate. So cert 2 times cert 25. So here it looks like 25, okay? Cert 25, we can actually square root it, right? So we will get 5. So now our final answer we will write as 5 cert 2. So the cert 2 can't be solved, right? So we will just leave it as cert 2. Okay, so so far it's easy. Now let's look at the next one. Okay, number 2. Let's say cert 2 times cert 5 plus 2 cert 10. Okay, so here we have plus. Now, immediately the first thing you do for here, okay, they are separate, okay? But what you can do, you can combine them. So I'm going to combine. So it's going to be cert 2 times 5 plus 2 cert 10. So here it's going to be cert 10 plus 2 cert 10. Okay, so here we have cert 10, cert 10. Okay, in front here actually the number is 1. So that means what we can do is we can take 1 plus 2. So that means it's going to be 3 cert 10. Okay, so far so good. Now the third one. Okay, cert 2 plus 3 cert 8. Okay, so what's uh, going on here is, we look, it looks like here we have cert 2, here we have cert 8. And it looks like cert 2, we can't do anything. So I'm just going to write back. Plus cert 8, it looks like I can write 4 times 2. Correct? Okay, so here it's going to be cert 2, okay, plus 3, okay, what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to put a bracket first, okay? So here it's going to be, cert 4 is like this. Okay, I'm going to separate them first. So here, I'm going to write again, cert 2 plus 3, cert 4 is 2 times cert 2. Okay, so again, cert 2 plus 3 times 2 is 6, 6 cert 2. Okay, so look, it looks like we have cert 2 and cert 2. So that means here the number is 1. So 1 plus 6. So our final answer is 7 cert 2. Okay, so I hope you guys are following. If you find I went too fast, you can always pause or you can go back, rewind this and watch again. Okay, now let's look at another two more examples. So 4, let's say we have cert 20 over 2. Now, it looks like the cert is only in the numerator part. So, I'm going to find factors that, you know, for 20. So, it can be 5 times 4 over 2. Okay, so cert 5 times cert 4. I'm going to separate. So, cert 5 times 2 over 2. So, it looks like there is 2 here and 2 here. And I can cancel it off. So, it's only going to be left with cert 5. Okay, and last one, number 5. Cert 72 
plus 3 set 2 minus set A. Okay, I've been telling a lot of set, set. And <laughs> alright, so 72. Let's find the factors. So 36 times 2, 72. Plus 3 set 2 minus, of course, here we can put 4 times 2 the factors. Alright, so here set 36, separate them times set 2 plus 3 set 2 minus set 4 times set 2. So set 36 is 6. 6 times set 2, 6 set 2. Plus 3 set 2. So here is 4 minus 2, set 2. So everything has set 2. So we just take the numbers and we plus and minus. So we get 6 plus 3, 9. 9 minus 2, 7. So the answer is 7 set 2. So I hope you guys understand. This is a very basic simplifying the sets. And in next video, I'm going to guide you on how you can rationalize denominators uh, involving sets. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video and of course share this with a friend. You can join my Telegram group for free where I do uh, at times post SPM based questions while we are all, you know, during this restriction movement. We can all do more practices during this time. Okay guys, so keep practicing and I'll see you in my next video.